guys, the Benny Norman enthusiast here. For today's video, we're going to be taking you to an area of Benny Norman I bet a high majority of you have never been. A lot of you will have never even seen it, and some of you may not even know it exists. It's a stunning part of Benny Norman away from the main tourist area, and I'm sure you're going to love having a little look at it today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like our videos and click the subscribe button and also click the bell so you get notifications whenever we release a new video. So we're starting at the end of the Levante beach so we can show you the route if you fancy visiting this area yourself. It's about a 15 to a 20 minute walk from here to the area we're going to show you today. You can get a taxi up there if you're not a fan of walking. There are a few hills on the way, but if you're reasonably fit, you should manage the walk just fine. From the end of Levante Beach, then you'll take the last road which goes up by the side of the Hotspot Lounge Bar. It's the last street that comes up at the end of Levante Beach. You can't miss it really. the top of this little hill the road splits and we're going to be following it round to the right. On the corner as you go round to the right there's a couple of supermarkets here. Worth noting that if you haven't got supplies this will be your last point to get some refreshments before you get to a bar. So go and grab yourself some water if you haven't already. of hotels on this road as well the Benny Cactus we've just been past and as we're passing now it's Hotel Lido. We are going to make a couple of refreshment stops on this little tour it's very hot very humid at the moment it's important we stay hydrated and of course you guys need to know that there's some bars on the way so you can stop catch your breath and get a drink. stop and this is a bar restaurant called Bahia Blanca. From here on the views get pretty special but before we show you them let's go inside and take a look at this place. It's a beautiful setting here at Bahia Blanca. On the one side where you enter from the road, you've got this cliffside terrace with great views out to Benidorm Island. Then round the front, the views get even better. Check that out, absolutely beautiful. You can see right the way over the Levante, you can see the Mirador in the Old Town and over there in the distance, you can just about make out the Poniente side of Benidorm as well. The two most scenic terraces are reserved for people eating and what a lovely setting it would be to enjoy a meal. They do all different types of seafood here, steaks and paellas. We're not eating today though, so we're just gonna grab ourselves a quick drink on the other terrace. So just a quick refreshment break for us today, but we may well come back in the evening and try some other food here. I think it would be a lovely video. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see it. continue with our little tour now so from here you could continue around on the road and get down to the beach over the other side or take the more challenging route which is the one we're gonna go down because the views are better From 
here you can see a gorgeous little cove down there, Cala Almadraba, one of Benidorm's hidden beaches tucked away at the foot of the Sierra Helada mountain range, out of sight from all the main parts of Benidorm. This little beach is just lovely. It's not an easy trek, no matter which route you take to get down to this little beach. There's no proper path, it is a bit of a scramble. So bear that in mind if you're visiting and you need proper footwear, and unfortunately it's not suitable for anybody with mobility issues. About 100 metres along this sort of wall which people use as a path, there's another path which goes down the mountainside and takes you to the actual beach. I must remember to save some energy for coming back up though, it's not easy and also bear in mind that this is a nudie beach. Yes, it is permitted to go naked on here. It's not obligated though, it's not an obligation and most people nowadays just come to enjoy the crystalline waters and the tranquility away from the main tourist zone. But don't be shocked if you see a few naked people around here. It's a small beach, only 100 metres in length, but it's not Benidorm's smallest beach. We'll be showing you that one shortly. And it's a mixture of pebbles and sand and there are lots of rocks in the water, which makes it a great spot for snorkeling. There's a fair few people out snorkeling around the cliff edges today. I myself have done it many times and there's always loads to see. We're not going to go any closer today because we don't want to get any naked people on camera but just look at the colour of the water down there, isn't it absolutely beautiful? Completely hidden from the main part of Benidorm, there's hardly a high rise in sight, it really is a lovely little escape from the hustle and bustle of the main resort. We're going to carry on on this little wall path now and take you right the way over the other side and show you more of this area. It's not for everybody around here but if you are a bit of an adventurer and you like exploring it's definitely worth a look. For the faint-hearted this walk the drops are pretty steep down the side of this path so please do take care if you venture around here we don't want any accidents
end of the wall path round and you're onto another rough rocky track now if you'd go walked around on the road this is where you would meet up with this track and get you down to the beach we're not going to go there now we are going to take you over the other side to look at the other hidden beach When you get back up to the top, there is a viewpoint in between the two beaches with the Benidorm logo, just to prove we are still in Benidorm. Because many people think that Benidorm is the strip and nothing else. They don't realize all of these other things it has to offer, like coastal and mountain hikes like this. From here again, you've got great views out over the main part of Benidorm. You can see about two thirds of Levante. And although there's a bit of a heat haze today, over there in the distance, you can just about make out Poniente, which is of course Benidorm's largest beach at three kilometers in length. Now we're gonna take you down to Benidorm's smallest beach, Cala Teochimo. You can just about make out Cala Teochimo from up here, nestled in between the cliffs, but well, we are going to go down and take a closer look. This is the more easily accessible beach of the two. There's a road right the way down and there is some parking at the bottom. But do be aware in the busier summer months, they do sometimes cut this road off to the public. This is probably my favourite beach in the whole of Benidorm. I just think it's really cute and cosy and out of peak season, it's pretty much deserted. Not many tourists venture down here at all and even the locals who live in this area tend to use Almadraba more. It's another spot which is great for snorkeling and it's another spot which also permits nudity so don't be surprised if you see a few extra tiddlers in the sea. We're not going to venture down any further because we don't want to get any naked people on camera but if you were to walk all the way down it's probably another five minutes from here. up the hill now and we're going to take the road route back about another 10 minutes walk if that and that'll bring us to our next watering hole Just before you turn the corner, there's another walking route behind me. This will take you to the Punta del Caval, and where you'll find a hidden watchtower. We'll show you that on another video. We're nearly at our next refreshment stop now, thankfully, because I am gasping. Now, the street on your left is where you would have come up if you'd followed the road round from Bahia Blanca. But we're going to take the street on your right, and that'll bring us to Marita's Bar, one of the highest bars in Benidorm. So here we are, nestled in the side of the Sierra Hilauda Mountains at Marita's Bar. The perfect spot to enjoy a drink or a bite to eat if you're hiking and trekking around this area. This is also on the road which will take you up to the cross if you're taking the more scenic route. So if you're planning on doing that the next time you're in Benidorm, make sure you call in at Marita's on your way. Marita's is open 11 a.m. till 11 p.m. during the summer months, but they do close Wednesdays and Thursdays, so bear that in mind if you're planning on coming up to this part. 
hope you've enjoyed this video guys showing you a different side of Benidorm a largely undiscovered area which I absolutely love the beauty of Benidorm is that there is so many different areas something for everybody and you can make Benidorm whatever you want it to be thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel click that beer mug guys and click the bell so you get notified whenever we release a new video also check us out on Facebook Instagram Twitter and TikTok at the Benidorm enthusiast stay positive and stay safe